warm welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com and today I have a very special bottle here on my cask. This is one of the very few whiskies from Namibia. It's called Onjaba, Onjaba, triple grain and it's 46% ABV and it's price well in the 70s and it's uncolored. Have a look at this beautiful color and uh, it's made at a wine chateau uh, and uh, well they started to distill this whiskey and so this is made from grain. It's a called a triple grain and uh, the cereal used in it is a special millet it's called pearl millet. They are those little sticks or tubes and with all those very small seeds on it. This is a very common uh, cereal in the southern part of Africa. And uh, well, and this malt is dried uh, <laughs> over elephant dung. Yeah, so there are the elephants in, in southern part of Africa and they use the dung of these uh, elephants uh, to dry this millet, the malt of the millet. And uh, we've seen this specialty as well in Iceland where they are drying it on sheep dung. Yeah, so they take whatever you have and some would take camel, I think. Uh, so this is elephant. Yeah, this is very, very special and it's matured in fresh oak casks and uh, as well as in well wine casks from the old wine yards. Tja. This bottle is wonderfully made. It's a bulgy, haptic, heavy, wonderful bottle and uh, friends of mine uh, live in Namibia wonderful country. Uh, very hot. So that this whiskey will, I think, mature quite fast over the years. So that's no harm that it does not carry an age statement because the maturation will drive uh, the aromas very fast from the oak into the whiskey. And this is very well fixed here. Elephant leather? No. <laughs> yeah. In our whiskey database, where people can uh, add their their ratings to the whiskey, it got incredible four point six or seven. So people are very fond of this one. And uh, yeah, so this is definitely a, a grain whiskey. I do not smell the malt. And there's a nutty component immediately. Oak, aromatic oak is there. Tobacco, but not burnt tobacco, but normal, uh, well, fermented tobacco if you open a tin. This is, yeah, there's no smoke in it, immediate smoke. Probably a little bit from the aromatic note in it, might not be from the oak, but from the smoke, probably. Difficult to say. Cheers. Mm-hmm. In the start, quite gentle, then spiciness, nuttiness, a light malty note in it, yeah. And in the taste, it's a little bit uh, astringent, tobacco, sweet, still spicy, and then a little smokiness in the aftertaste, a little cladding of my mouth, 
So the smokiness is minor, really minor. Uh, perhaps they're <laughs> putting two shovels of elephant dung <laughs> on the pile of coal or whatever they use to, to eat it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This whiskey tastes a lot older than you would expect from a no age statement whiskey. But the extreme temperature differences which you have over the summer and in cooler winter days, which is during our summer, <laughs> and uh, typically, I don't know, Windhoek is, is, is quite high. Um, and um, I don't know where the distillery is. I haven't looked it up. I'm sorry about that. F forgive me. So this is, I recommend it really. So a good starter for Namibia and a good whiskey uh, in total. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Stay tuned.